Hello, I'm Al Director, and this is Indie Rebel Hollywood Effects without a Hollywood budget, and this is just a really, really quick video on how to render your animations from Natron. I've seen recently on the forum there was a question asked about this, um, a user that's having problems getting the renders out, so this video is dedicated to you. So here's what we're going to do. There's a few different files that you need to understand. First off is your actual Natron project file. So if I go Control shift s to do a save as, I can save this to my desktop and I'm going to call this uh, render animation and then just hit enter. This saves my project as render animation.ntp. In other words, it's a Natron project file or we could also say it's a script. And the reason why I say that is because if I go to my desktop, and you can see here's the file right here with the Natron logo, I can actually right click, open with, notepad, and everything in here is readable by a human if you understand programming, which I unfortunately do not. But yet I can read these words and see that yes, I can see this. This is not some sort of secret code. So that's why these are called scripts a lot of times. But essentially it is just your project file. Now if I want to create my animation of a bouncing color wheel on a checkerboard background, uh, stupid simple, again, I mean, this is this is Oscar worthy right here, right? This is going to win all sorts of Academy Awards, I'm sure. Uh, but if I want to go ahead and render this out to disk, I select my final node in the composite, press W for write, and I can now uh, save this to the desktop or wherever I want to put it, however I want. So I'm going to call this the exact same name as this one right here. I can name it whatever I want, but just for illustration, I'm going to call it the same thing. Render animation dot MOV. It is very important that you add your extension. Um, and as you can see, this now says MOV right here as well. Click save. And now I can come down and actually change my render settings by default. Um, mine defaults to an Apple ProRes 444. I'm going to go ProRes 422 uh, just because I really don't need the 444 color space at this point. So you've got your container, which in my case is MOV, and the codec, which is 422. Um, oh, and by the way, notice also how we are rendering to ProRes on a Windows computer. So that's pretty cool that Natron can do that. At least I think it is anyway. So. Uh, all said and done, go ahead and hit render. Wait a few moments, go grab a drink, grab some food, and then come back, and then our render should be done, which it is. And if I go back to my desktop, again, we're viewing my L Director desktop. Here is the project file, and then here is the rendered animation at that point. Again, that extension told me when I saved it to disk not to overwrite the project file at this point. So now I have this, which as you can see is a MOV file, and if I open it, there's my bouncing ball animation. So that's pretty cool. Um, I do recommend going to ProRes or an image sequence when you are rendering out uh, from within Natron, because nine times out of 10, you're probably sending this into a video editor where you'll also wanna apply color correction and grading and stuff like that to it as well. And an MP4 file really is not the best choice, but if you do want to do MP4, uh, I'm going to come down here to container and change this to MP4. And I'm going to change the codec because it tells me up here that I can't save ProRes as an MP4. I'm going to change the codec to JPEG. Now, when you change these down here, when you change your codec and your container and all that, you need to come back up here and change your um, extension on the file name. If I don't, what will happen is I'm going to hit render and it's going to go and do its thing. Now again, the container in the codec is MP4 JPEG and yet if I come back to my desktop, I still have a MOV file up here and it just stuff starts to get really confusing and you start to lose track of things. So what you want to do is make sure then that we're going to change this to MP4 and that should work out great with an MP4 container with the JPEG codec and now if I hit render, and then go to my desktop, we can see I now have two video files. I have the original QuickTime that I made right? 
And now I also have an MP4 file. Or sorry, that was the MP4 that I played. See, now even I'm getting confused. So we got the MOV, and then you've got the MP4, and you can see in the description that pops up that each one is eat the same thing. And uh, there they go. And then, of course, we have our Natron project file. So again, you've got your NTP files, and then you've got your media files. Make sure you change the extension down here in the, uh, the name of the file to match whatever your desired output is. So anyway, I hope this video has been useful and not too confusing. I'm L Director. This is Indie Rebel, Hollywood Effects without a Hollywood budget. We will see you next time.